Hello, welcome back. Today, we are going to look at three characters all named R-Man from the DC Universe. First is Rex Tyler. He is a Golden Age R-Man who fought with the Justice Society in World War II. This version of Rex Tyler was released by DC Universe Classics. He stands around six and a half inches tall. This is what he looks in front, side, back, other side. His leg moves forward this much, back this much, and up this much. He has a thigh swivel, knee joint, and his foot moves up and down. His waist moves from side to side, and he has a torso joint. His arm goes all the way around. He has an arm swivel, elbow joint, and his hands move. His head moves as well. The next R-Man is Rex Tyler's son, Rick Tyler. Rick Tyler joined the latter version of the Justice Society of America in the later years. This DC Direct version stands around 7 inches tall. This is what Rick Tyler looks in front, side, back, other side. His leg moves forward this much. Back this much, not, but not too much because of the cape. He has a knee joint. And his arm moves forward this much. Back this much also because of the cape. And he has an elbow joint. This is what he looks in front. And please take note that father and son Contrast colors. Let's take a closer look. This is what they look in front. Side, back, and other side. The last R-Man is an android from the 853rd century. This DC Direct version stands a bit less than six and a half inches tall. This is what he looks in front, from the side, back, and other side. His legs move forward this much, back this much, also because of the cape, and he has a knee joint. His foot moves up and down. His arm moves forward this far, that much back, and he has an elbow joint. This is what they all look together. Front. side, back, other side.
So that's a look at the characters all named R-Man from the DC Universe. Rex Tyler, Rick Tyler, and the Android. Thanks for watching.